Hi everybody. Welcome to the vineyard at Traveler Cellar Winery. This is the third episode in our virtual wine tasting series. And today we're gonna to be talking about our peach wine, our Valvin Muscat, and our sweet tea wine. Uh, now the ground's pretty wet out here today. It's been raining this morning. Uh, it's gonna be raining quite a bit today, but I wanted to get out here and shoot a video before uh, all the bad weather comes in. But uh, we like rain. Rain's good for vineyards. Vineyards are good for growing grapes, and grapes are great for making wine. So uh, we always love to see uh, the weather changes, especially this time of year. We've got some great growth in the vineyard, and we're excited about uh, the change in seasons and uh, what that's going to mean for our property here. Uh, but without further ado, let's get started. So our peach wine, we decided to do it a little bit differently uh, than you might see at a lot of other wineries. Uh, this peach wine is... Uh, it's not super sweet. Matter of fact, it's, it's probably just under what you would consider semi-sweet. Uh, it's very similar to a, uh, a semi-sweet white wine. Um, and it has become very popular here at the tasting room. So let's give it a try. Really light in color, uh, much like a, a white wine itself. got a great peach aroma uh, it has a uh, almost kind of cinnamon uh, aroma or spice just like uh, you know you're cooking desserts for uh, for Christmas or Thanksgiving it really has uh, really has a great uh, spice aroma to it nothing was added to this wine to make that happen that's just the expressiveness and characteristics of the fruit itself Very easy going wine, uh, great to sip on, uh, very smooth. It's got just enough sweetness to offset the tartness of the peach. Uh, very crisp and refreshing uh, on, a, uh, on a spring or summer day. Uh, of course, best when chilled. Uh, great uh, with lighter fare. You can have this with uh, fish, you can have this with chicken, salad, uh, or, uh, or for dessert. Next, we're going to talk about our Valvin Muscat. The Valvin Muscat, uh, that's the name of the grape itself. It's a French-American hybrid grape, uh, and this is done in a sweeter style. Uh, so not quite dessert wine sweet, but definitely, uh, definitely fairly sweet. Uh, so if, if, if you enjoy uh, sweet white wine, this might be one you might uh, want to partake in. When we were producing this wine, um, man, uh, I couldn't get over how great it smelled. And generally, whenever you're fermenting wine or whenever you're making wine, there can be some uh, pretty off smells and, and some, some interesting things happening in the tank. But this Valva Muscat smelled amazing. Very, very floral. I knew uh, when it was done and finished, uh, it was going to have a very unique aroma uh, uh, to it. It's like you're smelling a bouquet of flowers, uh, and for a white wine, um, that, that can be really desirable. Uh, I love it because it, it smells like it tastes very floral, uh, very on the front of your palate, uh, but also very light and fun to, uh, to drink. Yeah, it's yummy. I, uh, I, uh, equate that uh, or I compare that to uh, uh, a sweeter uh, Riesling um, and uh, very very similar in, in uh, the taste very uh, very floral uh, fruity very fruit forward and uh, light enjoyable sweet wine It's really fitting on a springtime day too. Flowers are popping up, you know, bees are buzzing around, birds are chirping. We got squirrels and chipmunks that have been uh, popping up recently and uh, great for a nice warm afternoon like today. Next, we're gonna have our sweet tea wine. Now this is, uh, is kind of near and dear to my heart because uh, this was my own creation. Uh, we decided we, we wanted early on uh, when we were wanting to have a winery 
We wanted to do something unique, one-off, something that we created. And so I just started doing some research. And this was a real thing in the South. Um, you know, I found some really old cookbooks uh, with some notes and some recipes uh, from some ladies who, uh, who used to make sweet tea wine back in the day. They used to save the tea bags and hold them off to the side and they'd get enough together. And then uh, they would ferment the steeped tea with some sort of fruit and some sugar and uh, make, a, make a fun uh, afternoon, evening drink sitting on the porch. So I, I took a, a spin on that and um, took several, several uh, attempts at it. But uh, we ferment the, uh, the brewed tea and we, we take a large batch of uh, fresh brewed tea. I, I have tea bags just like you'd use at home, except mine are about this big around. And we steep that for three days. And uh, we add uh, fresh cut lemons and macerated raisins. And uh, that ferments together uh, to create as close to a southern home brewed sweet tea as you could get with just a, a little kick of lemon. Uh, it has become very, very popular and is actually our number one seller here at the tasting room. It's sweet tea, y'all. It's because uh, that's exactly what it is. I have people all the time taste like, oh my gosh, this tastes like sweet tea. It is sweet tea. We, like I said, we we brew that, we steep it here at the in the winery, and uh, we add that fruit and the raisins. So it does have a raisin, a grape base to it, um, and uh, just got that kick of lemon, uh, and and it's really smooth, really easy uh, to drink, very crisp. Uh, enjoyable one. The three wines that I picked for today's segment uh, are all light, crisp, enjoyable wines for springtime, summertime, and can be enjoyed any time, any time of day. Fun, uh, fun note with the sweet tea wine, and I wouldn't normally uh, recommend this for many wines, but since this is a specialty wine, you know, it's great just over ice, like an iced tea, um, and it's really fun and enjoyable that way. But uh, we hope you enjoyed today's segment. I uh, wanted to remind you all to support local. We appreciate each and every one of you. We've had great uh, uh, foot, foot traffic, uh, drive up curbside uh, traffic here at the tasting room. We've had several deliveries uh, out into Warren County and surrounding counties. And as a reminder, we are delivering. So if you don't want to get out, let us come to you. So within the uh, county of uh, Warren County, we, uh, we charge $7 for delivery. Uh, we charge $15 for surrounding counties to deliver. However, if you order six bottles or more, uh, we waive all the, sh uh, the delivery charges and uh, we'll bring that to you for free. So uh, and a reminder right now, we are offering 5% uh, off of everything, 10% off of three bottles or more, and 15% off of uh, six bottles or more. Uh, so. We have several different ways you can purchase our wines. Uh, we've got curbside pickup here at the winery. Just give us a call, 270-846-9463. Um, or you can send us an email at travelersseller at yahoo.com. Check out our website at travelerscellerwinery.com. Uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And uh, we appreciate all you guys tuning in today. Enjoy, uh, enjoy this weekend. Stay in, stay safe, and take care of each other. Be kind. Thank you all.